Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Life. I'm so glad you're here. Happy Monday. Today we're making a chicken pierre casserole. Super easy, quick to throw together. It's a great church dinner meal to take. In fact, that's what we're doing it for. So stay tuned. We're going to do a chicken pierre casserole. If you haven't already done so, I would love for you to hit subscribe, hit that bell notification, and please be sure to share my videos and um, tell your friends and family about them. So during the intro, if you haven't hit subscribe, that's a great time to do so. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Darling, we could get out of town, see the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open. Okay, so you guys are watching this on Monday. However, right now for me, it is Saturday evening. Bryant and I had just gone out and we had a wonderful steak dinner and we went early in the afternoon. And so now I am coming back to fix a few things for tomorrow's church service. We're having a special baptismal service tomorrow. We've got like 12 people getting baptized isn't that wonderful praise the lord so we're having a meal afterwards so i'm gonna make a double batch or two casseroles of the chicken pier casserole it is my family's one of their very 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 favorites and i'm so glad it is because it is so easy to put together i'm also putting together my corn and frito salad um, if you didn't catch that video, I did it fairly recently, so I'll link it down below. And I've done this casserole, the Pierre, the chicken Pierre casserole. I've done it before too, but it's been a while, so we're just going to redo it again. All right, so let me tell you what I've got started already. I have four, no, six chicken breasts. I think it's six. Six chicken breasts in my pot boiling I just put two two of the nor bouillon um, if you have the granules use that if you have the chicken base that you just spoon out whatever you have just to give that a little flavor it's gonna have plenty of flavor in the casserole but um, I like to boil it and infuse some flavor into those chicken breasts so that's all I did normally I put some poultry seasoning but I was out so it's okay we use what we have all right, so as soon as that's boiled and soft, you know, tender, and I've let it cool a little bit, I'll bring you back and we'll put this casserole together. In the meantime, I'm gonna throw together my corn salad. I'll link that video down below. Okay, everybody, I've got the corn salad made. The chicken is still boiling away. Sorry, turning y'all towards my sink full of dishes. Um, and so now I'm going to while the chicken is still boiling, I'm going to put together the cream part or the juicy part of the casserole, the soupy type part, and season it up. And then all we'll have to do is put two kinds of meat in here. And one of those pieces of meat may surprise you. But let's get started. I just grabbed my mama's this was my mama's old tupperware bowl <laughs> it has been through the ringer let me tell you okay so i'm going in with two cups of sour cream now i'm doubling the recipe because i'm making two casseroles to take to church i will put the recipe just for the basic casserole in the description but i am doubling okay so to that we're going to add cream of chicken soup I'm gonna just add two cans. You would add one if you were just making one casserole. Now I don't normally, this is how I normally season this with salt, pepper, 
And if I don't use salt, I'll use seasoning salt. But I'm going to do a little extra this time. Just because I can. I may need to get a um, different spoon to stir the casserole with. But, alright, I'm going to go in with some... Let's do our seasonings first. Where'd my measuring spoons go? I'm going in with a heaping fourth of a teaspoon, a heaping fourth of a teaspoon of cayenne. There we go. I'm going in with a heaping half of black pepper. And get it open. Good gracious. Okay, and a heaping half. Everything I do is heaping. <laughs> of paprika. That'll give it a really pretty color. All right, I'm gonna grab some salt here. A little bit of salt. And to make it pretty, let's go in with some parsley flakes. There we go. All right, guys, I'm gonna stir this up. Guys, we are ready. As soon as the chicken comes out, I'm going to shred that up. And I'll show you what else, what other meat other than the chicken is going in here. We'll be back in just a little bit. All right, I've enlisted some help here. Hey, hey, hey. This is, where's the jar? Right here. Mm -hmm. This is just dried beef. And I bought, since I'm doubling it, I got the 4.5. Put it in here. Yes, and he's just cutting them into little pieces. I'm quartering them. Quartering them, and then I've got them stacked. Quarter. Just, just bite then he's size. quartering the quarter. Yeah, just bite, <laughs> bite size pieces. Just, yeah, just little small pieces. And as soon as the chicken is finished, and we let it cool for a minute, we'll add that to it. Too small. Yeah. Well, it don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. It's my casserole. It's your casserole. I do it You're the chef of you're the sous chef of the dried beef, so uh, how you like my chicken? <laughs> okay guys, we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, y'all. So as par from my videos, we thought we were filming and we weren't. Um, but what we've done is Bryant has shredded up the chicken. He just took two forks and just shredded the chicken real easy, like that. So um He's trying to get on all the lights. <laughs> he doesn't know. I've already got this figured out. No lights, but the ones above me. Okay. Um, I hear this but show, anyway. Let's show what we did. Got the chicken in here. Took the shredded chicken, just put it in the bowl. Hey, can y'all believe she let me in the kitchen with her a little bit I tonight? did. That's what happens when you have her surgery. She puts you to work. Yep. So anyway, just mix that. And if it was, if it turns out just a tad bit, if it looks like it's a little bit too much chicken, you can do what we did. We just added a dollop more of sour, sour cream. cream. And if you've got chicken, um, cream of chicken soup, you can add that just to, you know, if it need, if you put too much chicken in. And that's exactly what we did. So, so we're going to divide this into two tin pans and I will finish this off in the morning. I'm not going to finish it tonight. Uh, we'll bake it off in the morning before we go to church. We'll put the refrigerator and just let it yep. chill. We're just going to let it go in the refrigerator and that way it'll still be fairly warm for the lunch after church. Alright, I'll take this and flatten it out. All right, guys, this is a amazing. Oh, now, we'll we'll be it. back in the morning. We'll killer bring you meat. back. Um, we'll, either be, we'll either be in our pajamas <laughs> in the morning when we're filming this, or we'll be dressed for church. One or the other. Maybe not pajamas, but maybe some 
boom clothes. How's that? I'll be in my pajamas. <laughs> All right, guys. So I've got this ready. We'll top it with something in the morning, and I'll show you that. And man, that Brent sure does know his way through the around the kitchen. He does he? know his way through the kitchen. Let yeah. me tell you. Yeah. Look at him flattening that out for me. All right, I'm gonna. These pans are not the ones from Sam's. That's Sam's are the ones I usually get, but I got these at Food Line, and they came with um, a lid. lid. So we're just gonna pop is this that, lid about, on. Is that about the same? Yep, let's get it. Hey, look at that chip beef right there. Does that chip beef not look mm, good? Mm. It is good. It'll be delicious. All right, guys, we're going in the refrigerator, and we'll see you back in the morning. Just for you, it's only a couple of seconds. One more thing before I see you guys in the morning. I know several of you are gonna ask me, what do you do, what can I substitute if I don't like sour cream? And the only thing I can really think of is maybe a Greek yogurt, like a plain Greek yogurt you could substitute that for. Um, but I would suggest even if you don't like sour cream on a spoon or whatever, try it in a cooked dish. You may like it better than you think. I know lots of people who don't like it like on a potato or, or just on a taco, but once they have it in a dish that's been cooked, they like it. So if you've never tried it, at least try it. Um, but if you're just totally cannot do sour cream, I might would say a plain Greek yogurt would be um, the direction I would go. So there you have it. All right, I'll see you guys in just a little bit. It'll be morning for us few seconds for you. Good morning everybody and yes I'm still in my jammies. Um, it's time to finish off these casseroles. Get them in the oven and get them ready to take to church. We have an exciting day today. Now what you need here for each casserole, so I've got two casseroles, so um, is just a pack of Ritz and I kind of open up the, the top of the Ritz, whichever side will open. And then I, I just get a little air hole in there. And then I just squeeze and crush up those Ritz a little at a time. And you can, if you need to make more room, you can pour out a few of the crumbs. And one sleeve per casserole is what you're going to need. Now I have some two, well, one stick per casserole of butter melting on the stove. And we'll just top this casserole off once I get all the Ritz crackers crushed up and on there. Oops, I slung some crumbs. Once we get all the crumbs on here, we're gonna top it off with a stick of butter. Now, I, since I doubled my recipe, I melted two sticks. So I'm just gonna have to eyeball what I think half of the butter is. Let me grab that. Okay, <clears throat> we're just gonna drizzle a little bit of the butter. It doesn't have to touch all areas. Somebody asked me why I didn't just mix the, the um, crumbs with the butter and then put them on. I, I just don't, I mean, it's just easier for me this way. And I think that actual pouring the butter on the top gives it just a good little extra something special on top. Whereas mixing it in, it might lose that little extra specialness. And if there's extra anywhere, I just tilt the casserole out and just kind of let it go. All right, these are going in a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna go get ready for church. Okay, everybody, I'm in the middle of getting ready, so as you can tell, my hair is not ready, but I grabbed one of the casseroles out. I'm leaving the other one in just for a couple more minutes, but look how beautiful this is. 
gorgeous. Unfortunately, you're not going to get to see the taste test. Well, I might. If oh, <laughs> Pastor Bryant just said yes, they are because he's going to come in here and taste test it. All right, so we'll be back in just a little bit, and when I get the other one out, and I'm going to wrap these in tin foil and then put the lid back on the plastic lid because when I get to church, I want to take that plastic lid off because we have the most amazing thing at church. It's a warmer. It's like an industrial type warmer and you can just slide stuff in. It is amazing. It is wonderful. I love that thing so much when you're cooking for a crowd. I love it. So um, we're going to wrap these up in temple just so I can pop these plastic lids off and stick them right in that warmer. It's going to be great. So hang on. PB's coming to taste test in just a minute. Okay, everybody. Good morning. Look, first time ever, 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 he has preached in a t-shirt. In a t-shirt today. <laughs> tell, tell him why. Because um, we're having a baptismal. Yep. And all the people getting baptized and Pastor Bryant and Ramey, his helper, they are all wearing these made new t-shirts. So. Made new. Made new. Turn around. Brower's Wesleyan. Yep, yep. Name so. of the church. So, anyway, God is good. Got All right. So got about 12 that's being baptized, and this food is for the celebration meal afterwards. afterwards. We so love a potluck. We like to eat. Our philosophy is we meet, we eat. Yeah. All right. Here we go, guys. You ready? I can see it. I'm going to burn my taste buds. <laughs> Maybe I ought to let this cool. Well, i got to finish getting ready. Yep. So. She's got to finish putting her eyes on. No, my eyes are on. Oh, really? What are you going to finish? And I think down below I put the description of, or the link, or the name of my mascara, because y'all ask me all the time. Yeah. They never ask about my makeup. Here we go. No, you go ahead. I can't You have go it. ahead. I can. It's, you can. it's crackers on it. Oh, I can have it. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Ugh, hot. <laughs> but it's delicious. He burned his taste buds. Wow. All right. Oh, it's good. The flavors meld together really good. This is a delicious. Easy, easy. Easy, delicious keeper. casserole. And I'm telling you, if you think you're opposed to sour cream, but you've never tried it in a casserole, please give it a try. Yeah. And now, if you've tried it and you still don't like it, then that's fine. But I would say, please, please try it cooked in a casserole. This is such a delicious. You can't taste sour cream. No, it's delicious. And um, so anyway, all right guys, I will. we may see you again before we sign off of here. I'm not sure. We may video a little bit at the church. So um, anyway, we, uh, I'm this is, not. This is Monday's video? This is Monday's okay. video. So I'm not going to say goodbye. The grace is hot enough yet. I'll come back on and let you know when we're cutting the video off. Look how he eats a pie. He just takes a spoon and digs into it. There's no cutting out slices or anything. He just digs it, in. It's mine. It's his pie. Yeah. He's the only one eating it. So, um, Caroline had a bite or two when she was over here. But, um, yeah. Anyway, all right. Thank you, guys. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, guys. Well, that's it. I didn't get anything filmed at the church. Well, I did, but that went on the weekend vlog video, yesterday's video. So, but the casseroles were a great hit. I made two of those and only came back with like just a little spoonful. And Bryant and Isaac, well, mainly Bryant has been eating that. So, all right. Thank you guys for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. I love and appreciate you guys so very much. I got caught out in a rainstorm. Praise the Lord for rain. I was mowing. So I just, um, once I could, once it lightened up a little bit for me to get to the house, I just took a shower and said, well, we'll just get ready for cooking supper tonight and making tomorrow's video. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully it's going to be a fried chicken video. So don't miss it. Hopefully that's what it's going to be. If everything goes well tonight, that's the plan. Anyway, so thanks for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.